Well, I'm out here today. It's a nice day. It's real windy, but uh, it's it's beautiful, and I'm I'm glad I'm off and getting to I'm gonna shoot the Grand here, my M1 Grand. I've got some HXP um, Greek HXP ammo that I got. This looks like it's 78 head stamp year, and uh, gonna be shooting some of that. Then I've got some other reloads that I did. I'm shooting those. And uh, this is my CMP M1 Grand. I, I just love this rifle. You know, I can see why you know General Patton says it's the greatest battle implement because it just, um, you know, it, it is. It's just a great rifle all the way around. Um, super fun to shoot. And um, I've got this little contraption uh, that I got. It's a Caldwell brass catching net. Um, I don't know how well I'll do with it just because this gun, I mean, it throws brass, you know, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, it just, it just kind of throws it, throws it everywhere, but um, I've got it set up and maybe I'll be get lucky and catch one or two pieces in it, so uh, let's uh, do some shooting here. Still filming. <laughs> I got zero brass in there. I mean, it went every which way. Um, so that thing was a fail for this for this one. <laughs> All right, M1 Grand. What are these? 168 grain spear, boat tail hollow points, H4895. So here we go. Let's see if my I've repositioned my brass uh, catcher, but. I don't really have high hopes uh, for it, but hey, we'll see what happens. cycle again. This ain't cycling again.
Oh, I caught one in my brass catcher. <laughs> what do you know? Oh, caught another one. old one of the bullets I've been trying out are these uh, these are 155 grain a max um, and I, I don't know I'm just uh, trying them out I've loaded a few up and uh, I'm gonna give these a shot see what they can do Well, there's my brass catcher, and you know what? After I got it set up on about, I guess you call it maybe one o'clock, I end up catching probably about 70% of them. You know, I'd get about, you know, five out of eight going there, and every once in a while I get one to go 12 o'clock, and I get one to go, you know, three or two or whatever. But for the most part, they were going in there, and I mean, it, it saved me, you know, quite a bit of time digging, searching through grass for brass, so it, it worked decent. Um, I wish I could say my groups were were better. This uh, H4895, it just it didn't didn't work very well for me. Uh, there was what are these? This is a 155 grain A Max, so that's not very good. Mainly shooting off to the right. Uh, this one is the uh, 155 grain A Max with uh, IMR 4895 46 grains. So I mean I had three little decent ones there, but. The rest of it was pretty bad. Um, 168 grain spear. This is H4895. I was just playing around with H4895. I, it didn't really do very well for me, and a lot of it may be me. I was off to the uh, right quite a quite a bit on these. Um, this is uh, my best group here. This is with uh, IMR 4895 and Hornady 168 grain. Um, I had one, two, I guess you could call bullseyes, and the rest, uh, you know, that, that's my best, except for this HXP uh, group that I shot with the HXP. Now, uh, that's some good shooting stuff right there. I had one, two, three, four, five, six right there bunched together, then I had two down here, but uh, that shot really well. So, what can we learn from today? Uh, well, the M1 Grand is an awesome rifle. It's fun to shoot. I just, I love it. It's uh, one of my favorite guns I've ever had. Uh, HXP ammo is excellent. It shoots very good. And I'm not very good at reloading. <laughs> 30 hot <out> 6. <laughs> and I need some more, uh, need some more practice uh, reloading and shooting. But, um, you know, it's it's been a lot of fun. I had a had a good time. I always enjoy shooting. 
and I got to try my little brass trap out, you know, and I wasn't completely disappointed with it. It could have worked better, but it, it did decent. It saved me quite a bit of time digging through the grass, looking through the grass over here uh, for brass. So, anyways, uh, there it is. Not much of a video, but thanks for watching, everybody. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time.